Hello everyone, my name is Javier Wilensky and I help people to feel better through yoga. Now, for today's sequence, we're gonna work in the digestive system. So what you need is a chair, a block, a bolster. If you don't have a block, then you can use a thick book. If you don't have a bolster, then you can use, you can roll a pile of blankets and neatly, and then it replaces the bolster. So as I mentioned before, today we are working in a sequence to improve immune system. What that means, we're gonna work in the abdominal muscles to increase gastric acid. Those are the liquids that process the food we eat. I have two extra tips today for you that are very good ones. First, before breakfast, drink one warm cup of lemon water or water with lemon and a hot ginger tea. Not powder, but the actual root boiled in a pan. Now, Today we are going to work in the extension and contraction of the abdomen, twisting of the abdomen, and relaxing of the abdomen to increase and stimulate the abdominal more organs so they can produce more gastric acid. For a pregnancy ladies, there is something that is called Sun salutations, you should not do this, and close twist should not be done. If you're menstruating, you should not do either. So I will give the variations when the times come. Uh, so we're gonna start the class by sitting in Virasana. When we sit in Virasana, this is the shin bone. In the shin bone, there is a meridian that activates the gastric fire. So you will go on four legs, you will take the calf muscles with your hands, pull the calf muscles back and down. You don't need to look, you need to go towards the right, you just need to keep facing the screen. So descend the top buttocks down so the lumbar spine lengthens. This is part of the abdominal organs. The lumbar spine are and the abdomen are intimate related. So, so you have to lengthen the lumbar spine and you have to lengthen the abdomen. Be in that position. Extend the arms sideways. Rotate the inner arms forward and lift the chest. Interlock the fingers in front of you. You send the shoulders down and bring your arms up and lengthen the side truck. You send the inner shoulders down, bring your arms further away from the screen and you send the shoulders down and keep lengthening the abdomen and the lumbar spine. Soften the gaze. Go on and come to the center. Change the interlock, extend the arms and bring your arms over the head again. Once again, lengthen the side of the waistline, lengthen the abdomen, lengthen the lumbar spine. Take a soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth exhalation. Go and then come down. Extend the arms sideways, roll the shoulders back, descend the inner shoulders down, soften the gaze in front of you. Soften the lips, the tongue, the jaw. Soften the eyes, the eyebrows, the forehead. Breathe in. With the exhalation, bring your palms to prayer position and close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in to begin with three ohms.
breathing with the chest. Breathe out, bring your chin to your chest, bring your mind to the heart center. Lift your head, bring your hands to your knees, and open your eyes. So, uh, we're going to start with sun salutations. If you're pregnant, please don't do the sun salutations, skip for the next poses. You're going to keep your mat perpendicular, so, so you're facing the camera. I'm going to be in my profile, so you can copy what I'm doing. So step to the front of the mat, extend the arms, roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. And bring your palms to prayer position. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your chin to your chest, bring your mind to your heart center. Breathe in. And then extend the arms up. And then you're extending the abdomen. And bringing your hips forward. Breathe out, bend the legs. Bring your palms towards the floor, extend the legs, and bring your head towards the shin bones. You're contracting the abdomen. Breathe in, extending the abdomen, chest lifted, breathe out, step backwards with your right leg. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back, extending the abdomen, lifting the chest. Breathe out, go to child pose. Breathe in, move your chest in between your hands. Roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. Breathe out, forehead towards the floor. Breathe in. Bring your buttocks down, pelvis towards the floor. Bhushangasana. Observe how the abdomen spread as you extend the arms. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Abha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Look forward. Breathe out. Bring your right leg forward. Breathe in. Lift the chest. Observe how the abdomen lengthens. Breathe out, bring your feet together, extend the legs, bring your abdomen, head towards the floor, towards the thighs, shin bones, bend the legs, palms together, hips forward. Breathe out, Namaskarasana. Breathe in, lengthen of the abdomen, hips forward, arms behind. Breathe out, bend the legs, extend the legs, head to the shin bone. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, bring your left leg back. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, go to child pose. Breathe in, move your chest in between your hands. Roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. Breathe out, forehead to the floor. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back. Contract your buttocks and lift the chest, observing the abdomen lengthening. Breathe out, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your left leg forward. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, bring your feet together. Extend the legs, head to the shin bones, if you can. Breathe in, bring your palms to prayer position. Hips forward. Breathe out, Namaskarasana. Breathe in. Hips forward, breathe out, bend the legs, extend the legs, head to the shin bone if possible, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, bring your right leg back, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, go to child pose, breathe in, move your chest in between your hands, roll the shoulders back and lift the chest, breathe out, bring your forehead towards the floor, breathe in. Buttocks down, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, spread your abdomen, look upwards, breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your right leg forward. Breathe in, roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. Breathe out, bring your feet together. Extend the legs, head to the shin bone. Bend the legs, palms together, hips forward, buttocks forward. Arms behind you, look backwards, and then Namaskarasana, prayer pose, breathe in. Last one. Breathe out, now we are by yourself. Extend the legs, head to the shin bone. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, bring your right leg back. Breathe in, lift the chest, spread the abdomen. Breathe out, go to child pose. 
breathing, move your chest towards the floor, roll the shoulders back and lift the chest, breathe out, forehead towards the floor, breathing, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, look upwards, breathe out, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, breathe in, look forward, breathe out, move your left leg forward, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, bring your feet together, extend the legs, head to the shin bone, bend the legs, palms together, hips forward, breathe out, Namaskarasana, good, and then come to the center, now you can place the mat, or you can put pause if you wanna come, we wanna keep going, or you can put the mat horizontal the same way than mine. Uh, now we're gonna do a pose, it's called triangle pose, Utita Trikonasana. So bring your hands to your chest, now, yes, you have to turn your, your, your mat in this manner. So, wide ones. Bring your hands to your chest, look straight forward, extend both legs, breathe in. Breathe out, jump your legs apart. Bring your feet wide apart, extend the legs fully. Lift the chest completely, extend the arms, lengthen the side trunk, breathe in. Breathe out with your exhalation, bring your left foot in, right leg up. Press your feet down, extend the arms, lift the chest completely, lengthen the abdomen, lengthen the lumbar spine leg by gripping your buttocks and moving your pelvic, this part, forward. Breathe in. With the exhalation, bring your right hand towards your right shin bone. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, turn your trunk. So the right chest, look upwards. Extend the legs and turn your trunk, turn your trunk, breathe in, breathe out, and then with the next exhalation, press your left foot down, breathe in, come up, and go to the other side, extend the arms, lift the chest, breathe in, breathe out, bring your left hand towards your ankle, Press your hand against the ankle and lift the chest. Again, extend the legs fully. Press your thumb against the shin bone and lift the chest upwards so you turn your trunk from left to right. And then bring your chest towards the head. And then come up. Toes straight forward. Bring your hands to your chest. Shamp your feet together. Lift the chest upwards, extend the arms. So for the next pose, uh, we if you're pregnant or you're menstruating, you will repeat the previous pose, which is Utita Trikonasana. Now I'm going to teach you. A pose is called Parivita Utita Trikonasana, revolved triangle pose. I'm going to turn my back to you so you can follow me. So, as we did before, you'll have to have the block into the inner foot. Shump your legs apart. Bring your left foot in, right leg out, and then turn your trunk. Turn your trunk so you turn towards your right leg. So look straight forward towards the right leg, and then extend. The left arm upwards, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, press your left heel down, extend both legs, and then go forward, go forward, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, and bring your hands towards the block. Now, once you get the hands towards the block, if you can lower the block, lower the block. Now watch, I catch my hip, I move the right hip back, the right hip back, and then I press the left heel down, maintaining that, I turn the left abdomen towards the right. You can use the exhalation and inhalation. Press both feet against the floor, move the right hip back, and then breathe in. And with the exhalation, turn your trunk upwards 
So the whole abdomen turns. If it's available to you, bring your hand towards the floor. The tendency will be that you're gonna go backwards. See if you can go forward and then again, turn your left abdomen towards the right, and then extend the arm up. Breathe in. With the exhalation, come up and change sides. Right foot in, left leg out. Breathe in. And then again, turn towards your left. Bring your block towards the inner foot. Press your back foot down and move your left hip forward. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, extend the left arm up. Breathe in, lengthen the side trunk. And as you press your back foot down, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward with your arm, reach forward. Breathe in. With the exhalation, bring your hands towards the block. And then once again, move your left hip back. Press your hand against the block and turn your trunk. Turn your trunk from left to right. Breathe in. With the exhalation, bring your hands towards the inner outer foot if you can. If not, keep your hand on the inner foot. And then keep turning your trunk. Turn your trunk fully. And then extend the arm. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out. Turn your trunk. And feel the abdomen turning. Good to come up. Press your back foot down, breathe in, and come up. Good. This is Parivitu Tita Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Now, you need a chair. So you'll take the chair. The backrest has to be facing towards your right. And you will sit with the knees in front of the screen, lift the chest, extend the arms up, breathe out, and bring your hands towards the back of the chair. Look at your knees and see that your knees are even. And then press your right thigh against the back of the chair, press your left hand against the back of the chair, and turn from left to right. Breathe in, lift the chest, Breathe out, press your hand against the back of the chair and turn more. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, press your hand against the back of the chair and turn more. Lift the chest upwards and turn. Use the breath to keep turning and you should feel the abdomen turning as much as possible. And then come to the center. Change size. Bring your feet even, knees even, thighs, pressing the back of the chair. Breathe in, lift the chest, breathe in, breathe out, turn, revolve. Breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, press your hand against the knee, and turn more. Lift the chest, breathe out, and turn. So the abdomen has to be soft, but kind of squeezy. So keep turning the abdomen and lift the chest upwards. Use the breath to turn more. Use the inhalation to extend the spine upwards and create space so you can keep turning. Look backwards with your head. Go on and come to the center. This pose is called Paradvajasana with the chair. Now, don't that. Put the chair away and take the bolster or the rolled blankets. If you have a pillow for your back, it will be great. And then take a 
Subtavala Konasana. It's all of the feet touches the, the, together in this way. So it's all of the feet touches. This is reclined, bounded pose. And the feet has to be very close to the pelvis. So I lean backwards. And then as I lean backwards, I bring the buttocks up and move it slightly towards the back of the heels. And then you will see that in this pose, this is good for pregnancy, this is good for menstruating, and this is very good to soften the abdomen. So it's a good pose that is stimulate. First, it decreases stress. Every time that you decrease stress, the functions of the body can work better. So the digestion works better when you decrease stress, but also you're softening the abdomen. So, so that also stimulates the digestive system. We're gonna stay here for a few minutes. And in those, your lips has to soften, the tongue softens, the jaw softens. Take a soft, smooth inhalation and let the abdomen recede downwards towards the spine. You can stay when you do it by yourself. In this pose, you can stay for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. So take a soft, small inhalation, soft, small exhalation. Allow your lips, your tongue, your jaw to soften, your nose, your cheeks, your eyes your eyebrows to soften. Let go, let loose completely. Bring your knees together. Rolling to your right. Look downwards to come upwards. And then the next pose is Supta Virasana. If this pose becomes too complicated for you, then you can use a block under your buttocks as we did before. Or use not block, not use a block at all, or do the same pose we did before, Supta Konasana, the one that we just did. Otherwise, if you don't have knee problems, then you can do this pose, no problem. If you're pregnant, you can do this pose. If you're menstruating, this pose is very good for you because it actually increases the elongation and relaxation of the abdomen even more than the previous pose. So Supta Virasana, reclined hero pose. And we're gonna stay two minutes in this position. And focus on that the abdomen softens the abdomen has to all the time recede downwards. Take a soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth exhalation. If it's too much, this pose for you, 
then again, you can come back to the previous pose, the one that we just did with the sole of the feet together. Soften the lips, soften the tongue, soften the jaw. I'm focusing the relaxation of the abdomen. So the abdomen receive downwards towards the spine. Twenty seconds more. Then, with your palms, press your palms against the floor, lift the chest upwards, last thing coming up is the head. And then come up. And then turn towards the screen. So we'll move the bolster away. We'll use it later. And then <clears throat> next pose, extend the legs wide. And then turn your outer thighs in. You can use high under your buttocks if it's too much for you. And then try to be leaning forward. I will show my profile. You can stay here. This is how the trunk should look. So try to lengthen the spine and start going forward in this manner. Now, if you need help with this, you can use the blog or the book under your products. So to neutralize the spine after the last few poses. So we are lengthening the spine after the last few poses. Stay there for a few moments. You don't need to go all the way down. and then come up and then the next pose is called Shanu Shirshasana. You face the computer if you want. I'm going to show the profile. So catch the back of the knees and then as you catch the back of the knees, bring your knee backwards and then turn your left abdomen towards the right abdomen. Bring your left knee downwards, keep turning your trunk, and then catch your foot. If you don't catch your foot, there is no problem. Just bring your hands towards the floor, but lift the chest upwards. Keep descending the left knee down, and then if you can, catch your foot, and then slowly breathe in. Keep the chest, breathe out, bring your head towards the shin bone. Extend the arms, lift the chest, slowly come up. Extend both legs and then go to the other side. It's the same pose done before. Bend the left leg, bring your knee back, lift the chest, extend the arms upwards and go forward. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, bend the elbows, and bring your head downwards. Go 
Go ahead and then extend the arms, lift the chest. Breathe out, come up. And then you might repeat this pose, or you might do Ardha Vada Padmottanasana. Now in the next pose, we're gonna learn Marichasana 3. Marichasana 3 is a twist and it's a great pose for digestion. So we will repeat it two times. For those menstruating or pregnant ladies, you will modify the pose and I will show the variation. So, <clears throat> Marichasana 3. You will have a block or any high on your buttocks. And then the foot is very close towards the buttocks as much as you can. The chest lift and then you will turn. If you're pregnant, then instead of, fold, of bending the right leg or you're menstruating, you will bend the opposite leg. So it's an open twist. In this case is going to be a closed twist. So, lengthen the trunk. You can face the screen. You don't need to do the profile. Lengthen the side trunk, breathe in. And with exhalation, bring your elbow towards the right knee. And then again, you have to lift the chest upwards. Grab your abdomen and try to move your abdomen from left to right. Move your abdomen from left to right. And then bring your armpit towards the knee, if possible. And then when, once you're there, lift the chest up. Breathe in, breathe out, and turn more. Breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, turn more. And stay there for a few moments. I know the breath becomes shallow, just Keep maintaining the breath and use the breath to turn more. Use your knee, press your knee against the arm and the arm against the knee. Right arm against the knee. Left. Right leg against the left arm. Turn. If it's available to you, you can also catch your hands behind you. And then come to the center. Change sides and then go to the other side breathe in breathe out and turn now bring your right armpit towards the left knee if you can and then the side ribs you have to lift the chest upwards and turn your trunk turn your trunk roll the left shoulder back and then if it's available for you Extend the right arm forward, breathe in, and with the exhalation, catch your hands. You don't need to do this if you can't. It's not necessary. And then lift the chest upwards again. And then come to the center. And then unwind, and we'll do it one more time. So. Bring your right arm upwards and turn towards the left. Breathe in, lift the chest, turn your trunk and roll the right shoulder back. Lift the chest upwards. Breathe deeply in. If you can, if you can, only if you can, you clasp. Otherwise, don't clasp but lift the chest up. Well, and then come to the center and then change sides. Stand the left arm up, breathe in, breathe out, turn to the right. And try to reach with your armpit, left knee. Turn, turn your trunk and then extend the arm if you can. You can even grab the outer side of the shin, lift the chest, and then turn your trunk.
two and then come to the center. Extend both legs. And then to finish the class, what you're gonna do is to choose one of the poses that we did before, they were the resting poses. And then rest. Again, for two more minutes. So the abdomen becomes soft. You can choose Sutta Virasana, this is ideal. If anything is happening, anything, then you can change to Sutta Konasana. Both poses will work. And all of those, these poses are good for beginners and for everyone. So you're just going to close your eyes bringing attention to the breath. Take a soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth exhalation. And then extend the legs. If you are in Sutta Virasana in the previous pose, you will need to come up. And then extend the legs forward. And then lie flat on the bolster, allowing the abdomen to become soft. Take a soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth. Exhalation. You can stay there if you want, though this video is ending now. So if you're staying there, thank you so much. Keep relaxing as much as you can. And otherwise, if you came up from the pose, I say namaste. The light within me, recognize the light within you. Thank you for taking your time for feeling better. Enjoy.